I wanted to show you guys my first time application of this beautiful color of Fire and Ice. And also my first time application of this gorgeous, gorgeous gloss that has a pink tint and it also has all of that glitter in it. And I just love glitter. <laughs> so, here we go. My lips are already clean. I've used my witch hazel to get all the yuckies off and get them all clean. Shaking my color. Now this is a bolder color, so for my personal preference, I like to line my lips first, um, just so that it's easier for me to see kind of where my lip line is and where I'm going so that I make sure everything's nice and even. So, clean off the tip. And then, There we go. Now that makes it so much easier when I'm going to go back in and just fill in the color. So this will be my first layer. Kind of make sure you get that water line real good. So as you can see, after one layer, the color already looks amazing. But you want to do a th full three coats, and that's going to um, really seal in your color and make it last longer. If you only do one coat, then that's just one thin layer that's going to be exposed to everything you're doing all day, and it's going to be more likely to chip off or flake off or just kind of disappear. The three coats gives it a good solid foundation to really stay on for hours and hours and hours. So here goes number two. And as you can see, you really don't need a lot. I mean, you clean off the tip when you first start, and that's all you need. You don't need a whole lot of product. That's why this tube is going to last you four to six months. It's, it's a lot in here. They fill it all the way to the top. It's a lot of product. Sorry, you got it like a shadow on my face. It's a lot of product in this little tube, and you barely have to put any on. So let's do coat number three. And it really doesn't matter where you start. I start over here just because that's what's comfortable for me. You can start on top if you like that, however suits you. make sure it dries nice and pretty before I put my gloss on it over the top of it. You want to not let your lips like sit together while it's drying because you don't want them to stick together. You want to let it dry. You don't have to like the whole time but just a little separated. I like to give it a little extra time after I apply my third coat before I apply my gloss just so that I can make sure it's really set and good to go and that way I feel like it makes my lips feel better. If I apply my gloss too soon, I feel like I can personally tell because I've been wearing it for so long. I may be the only one. I love this color. 
And what's awesome is if you have a beautiful bold color like the Fire and Ice or Purple Rain or what are some of the other ones? With Blue Red, I kind of like to do a smoky eye, but with these that have more of like the pink pop, you can do a real neutral eyeshadow. And that way you don't have to feel like, oh, I'm going to look like a clown with all that lipstick on with that bold color. But because if you do the rest of your makeup just very light, then your lips are that one pop. And that's all you need. It's just one real good pop. Whether it's, you know, the bold color on your eyes and you want to go nude on your lips or vice versa. Today I did the opposite. I did, I knew I wanted to wear this color, so I went real neutral on my eyes. With this light I've got going on, you see all my glitter. I'm a glitter freak. You don't actually have to shake your glasses. I'm just doing it out of habit. Okay, so my lips are nice and dry, so I want to kind of show you what the Bougainvillea Gloss does. So this is my lips without the Bougainvillea Gloss, and this color actually has a little bit of shimmer in it already. Um, so the Bougainvillea Gloss is just going to add to that. Um, we have some colors that are a matte finish, so if you like the glitter look or the shimmer look, but you're in love with one of those matte colors, you can always get a gloss that's gonna complement and add to your matte color. So you're not stuck with a matte finish just because you're in love with that one color. You can get something that's gonna add to it. Same goes, like, I could put a matte gloss over this Fire and Ice if I was going for a more matte look. It's just whatever you prefer. So this is my lips with just Fire and Ice. Sorry, you're all looking at my nose. You can see it has shimmer already. But now, let me add this and let's see what it does. Love it. Put a little more on my bottom lip. I wiped it off out of habit without thinking like oh that's my gloss see so now once your gloss is on you can rub your lips together so this is with the bougainvillea whoa that is absolutely gorgeous this is perfect for an everyday look um, I mean it looks great with what I've got on right now with my neutral eyes also, if I was going to an event, like a, you know, little black dress event, this would look fabulous. I'm so in love with it. It's like I got a disco ball on my lips. Mm-hmm. So pretty. I'm going to pick y'all up. Try to get y'all in the best light here. I love it. Bogan be a gloss for the win. Have a good day.